Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to install your own font in a Squarespace website. Now I am doing this in my version 7.1 demo site, but this will work exactly the same in Squarespace version 7. We're going to upload the font file to the site, then we're going to add some custom code to name the file and then assign that type of font to a specific item in our Squarespace website. Now, if you're brand new to version 7.1, you actually have a lot of options for customizing fonts inside the design menu. Check the related videos below if you want to walk through of the font menu that you have access to. OK, otherwise, let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site. And again, these are the three steps. We're going to upload the file. We're going to give it a name and then we're going to assign it to a specific specific type of content, text, button, and form. I'll show you all three. Let's go ahead and navigate to design and then to custom CSS at the very bottom. Now at the bottom of the CSS panel, you're going to see a button that says manage custom files. And that is where we're going to put the font file that you want to install. I'm going to click on that option and then I'm just going to drag the font file from my computer right there into Squarespace. Now this is going to create a URL for that file that I can reference in my code. Okay, step two, let's give it a name. We're going to say at font face, and then I'm going to open up a curly bracket and say font family. Here you can literally name it anything you want, so we'll just call it anything, except that would drive me nuts. There we go, capital letter, anything, I call it whatever you want. Then we're going to add a semicolon, and we're going to say src url, and then open up a parentheses. Now here I'm going to click into manage custom files and click on that file. And now we have created the font family anything on my Squarespace website, but nothing's changed because we haven't assigned it to anything yet. So let's enter a new line and let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll start with the paragraph text. I'm going to say P font family anything and check it out. All of my paragraph text has now been updated to that fancy font that I just installed. Pretty cool, right? So make sure that you're using the right code name or selector for what you want to apply it to. I think those are also uh, my H2s. Let's try that. There we go. Now my H2 has been given that specific fancy font. So all of the H2s on my website will change to that new font family. If you want to change the button, that goes by the code name SQS block button element. And I have that H still in the beginning. Let's remove that. There we go. And now my button gets that font family. Let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. We'll say font size 2 REM. Oops, I put a zero there. Let's make that a dash. There we go. Now we can really see the font in that button. Now, one last cool trick I want to show you is how you can actually use an asterisk symbol to apply this font family to anything within a type of content block. I'm going to go ahead and remove this font size aspect of it right there. So all we're doing is changing the font family. And I'm going to say dot form block asterisk font family anything. Now you'll notice just these little subtext right there was was changed. I need to add exclamation point important. And now every single instance of text where I can assign a font family inside a form block has been updated to my new font file. How cool is that? All right, let's do a quick recap here just to make sure that we're on the same page. Step one, upload the font file. We went to design custom CSS, manage custom files, drag and drop that file right there and you're good to go. After that, we gave it a name. We said at font face, font family. That's where you type the name. And then we said SRC URL and clicked on the custom file that we uploaded to put the URL into our code. And then the third step is to assign it to a particular type of text using its code name or selector. P for paragraph text, H1 for heading one text, or even dot form block asterisk to change all of the fonts within a form block. Now, one of the number one questions that I get when I post videos like this is how do I know the right code name or selector for what I want to change? And the truth is, there are hundreds, there are so many different types of code names for individual elements in Squarespace. I have as many of them as I've interacted with in my CSS cheat sheet available at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS, but I did list some of the basics beneath this video, H1 for heading one, H2 for heading two, you get the idea. I also included that catch all for the form block in the description below as well, so you can quickly change anything about a form assigning it that brand new font that you just installed. All right, we'll go ahead and call it a wrap for this one. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a tutorial about customizing Squarespace every single week. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.
If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.